Hey guys, it's Marco here, back once again from MyColorScreen.com, bringing you the latest and greatest Android home screen tutorials. Now you've seen all these awesome home screens, and they're very simple and minimal, and they're still really awesome, but now you want something a bit different, one that stands out from the crowd. Well then, I bring to you Vintage by Hitman1K, seen here. Boom. Now this home screen is just too cool. Feels like I should be riding a Harley, drinking some Jack Daniels with this awesome setup. As you can see, it's got all these amazing, stylish, really, really cool widgets. Got our date there, our see if it's charging or discharge, discharging. We've got our time saying post meridian, that's PM, as well as our, our alarm, day of the week, all of our emails and notifications at the bottom as well as these really, really cool icons that bring up anything that we want. You really want to create this? Well, let's begin with today's tutorial. Okay, starting from the beginning, we're gonna go into our Apex settings. We'll go options, Apex settings, and we wanna choose our home screen settings. We're gonna start things off differently by going into our portrait grid, changing it to a seven by seven. Going okay, we wanna go manage screens. We only want one screen, that's it. Next, we'll go into Wallpaper mode, single screen scroll, non-scrolling, and hide element we want to hide the notification bar, hide shadows, hide icon labels. We'll just go back, go into our dock settings. We will scroll down to hide dock, we want that enabled. So if we go all the way back, we want to go see it'll be blank like that. Finally, we'll go back to our Apex settings, advanced settings. You want to have overlapping widgets and resize any widgets. You definitely want to have those two, otherwise it's gonna get crazy up in there. So we'll go back, back. There we have our blank screen ready to customize. Now for the wallpaper, there's two ways of doing this. Going into our wallpaper, quick pick wallpaper, finding where you've saved it, it'll be this one. If your quick pick doesn't allow you to go into all four corners like this, making your picture look like this, then you, I suggest going into wallpapers, live wallpaper, multi-picture live pa wallpaper, going into settings, and making individual screens, you only want to have one. You want to only have screen settings saying one. If you already have two, do not worry. Just go into your settings, go into your apps, look for multi-picture live wallpaper and clear the data. So then you're just going to screen one settings, make it fit to screen, and it'll make this wallpaper fit to your screen, whatever it is. If that doesn't work, let me know in the comment section below. Great. Awesome, we have our wallpaper set up. Let's move on to our widgets. Now our widgets, Hitman1K has provided in the link below, and he has set it up a bit differently as there are .uccws. You might be thinking, well, I can't open those if you try and open those in uccw. So what I suggest you, what I suggest doing is going into your file folders and you wanna find where you've saved it, wherever you have. I've saved it here into vintage. And as you can see there, .uccws. Take these files, You'll go select, copy there. You'll look for a folder called Ultimate Custom Clock Widget. It's quite a long one. And then all, all we want to do is paste these. So just go Options, Operations, Paste, and paste them into this. This is basically where all of them are saved, raw files. As you can see, I've got quite a few here. You don't have to go open use it when you're going into UCCW, but I'll get to that now. Next, you want to go back into the folder and look for the fonts. You'll know it's a font by going, it ends in TTF. It's the Octon Osten Sports Free as well as the Viper. They're both TTF. So you go select those, copy those, go copy, and you'll go back. You need to create a folder here called Fonts into your, into your phone. And then this is where all your fonts will be created for you, CCW. So as always, we'll just go Options, Operations, paste these into here. As you, as you can see, I've already done here. And those will be your fonts for your UCCW. Unfortunately, the fonts are different as seen in the screenshot, and that's only due to copyright infringements as those are paid fonts. So we'll go into our widgets now, and we'll go into our UCCW widgets. I think I selected 5x2 for all of these. It just makes resizing a lot easier. You'll scroll down all to the bottom. As you can see, you don't have to go open use zip. They're already here. Problem is they might look a bit different. Their pictures might look different to the ones seen in the screenshot, but do not worry. They still are the exact same thing. So for vintage date weather, we'll just select that. As you can see, it is resized. Make sure that you have copied your fonts into your fonts folder. Otherwise, it'll not appear like this. So that's that one down. So let's move on to the others. So we'll hold on on our widgets. Go ultimate custom clock widget, five by two. Let's say a vintage time. So it looks pretty cool. Let's resize it. Now, unfortunately, mine says PM for post-meridian. So if yours does say that as well, we'll just go 
tap into our UCCW, go select object, AM, PM. Now you want to scroll all the way, all the way, all the way to format. Make sure that's on text. If it's not working, I created custom text, a new feature by UCCW, really, really cool. And go make custom text file. Very quick and simple to do. We'll just select PM and you want to type in post meridian. Okay, so we'll go post meridian like that. We'll go OK. You want to go save. Save it as anything you want. Go AM, PM or whatever. Go OK. And now it has been saved. So now if you just simply go back and go back, it is now changed like that. It looks pretty cool. Okay, those are done. Now you're just going to simply add in the rest of your UCCW widgets as shown in the screenshot. I'll just swipe over to the one that I've already created. See, it's like this. If your one at the bottom over here looks a bit crazy and funky, looks really long, you just want to go select object Gmail 1. Scroll to your account, select whichever account you want, your primary ad address, whatever, and then go choose label. You want it to be your inbox or outbox, whatever you want. It can be just so it looks, it'll go to a much shorter and better looking skin. Finally, if your, your location, if your location looks pretty bad, what's easy to do, you just go options, settings, location, make it manual or auto, whatever you feel. Manual is a lot easier to handle. We just renamed it like that. And let's go back and it looks a lot better. So finally, if you want to add your icons at the bottom, what you'll want to do is go resize this widget. As you can see, I've resized it, resized it to take over this whole thing. And you won't be able to get in your widgets there into you. you won't be able to get your icons in there. So drag it up like that. As you can see, you now have space. And for our app draw, you'll want to hold down Apex App Draw. There we have it. And to change it, we'll just hold down Edit. Tap the icon, tap select picture, quick click, vintage. You want to select that awesome looking app draw icon there. Go OK. And it looks the same. You just have to put it in over there. And then once you've done that for both phone and messaging or email, you just want to resize it. Boom. Down. Done. Remember to hold down on this and go send to back to so say that your app draw still works. Remember if, you're, if this doesn't appear, that is because it is your alarm. So you might want to set an alarm first if you want to have this awesome looking alarm clock right there and remember you can always set, turn on hotspots for all of these if you don't know what hotspots are check on the link below it just means that you can open up your clock just by selecting that opening up your alarm by selecting that it's really cool check out the link below that is our home screen completed that is our video tutorial completed i hope you've enjoyed it folks please subscribe to the my color screen channel if you haven't please do it now as you don't want to miss out on these great tutorials as well as the other playlists that are available on this channel. Thank you very much guys for watching and I'll see you around next time.